Night True Crew. How you doing? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the description box for other links on free information and how to follow me on other social media platforms. Coming at you today with a quick video on why the Catholic Church needs Pope Francis. Right? Because if you're here in America, a lot of people kind of look down on Pope Francis or one of the complicated things is since a majority of his talks or interviews is in, I would assume, Spanish because he's from Argentina, I think. Um, trans everything gets lost in translation, right? I had a buddy who told me when he gave one of his first uh, speeches, something about, and I know my buddy listens to Rush Limbaugh, and it was how capitalism is evil, but when it came down to it, it was mistranslated and it was consumerism is evil. And I think I made a video on that topic as well of how consumerism, not capitalism, wants broken families, right? Wants difficulties in life because when you have that, now you're going to be buying two cars, two houses, two sets of washers and dryers, right? Two sets of clothes, one for mom's house, one for dad's house. Um, so consumerism unfortunately is something that thrives on and unfortunately you know big corporation uh, stock prices I guess you could say are just the value for them is high when there's broken homes uh, but of course we all know it's bad for society uh, but I went to a men's retreat um, with young Catholic professionals here in Colorado. So if there's one in your neighborhood, check it up, check it out. I know there's about 13 to 15 chapters throughout the United States. I know they're thinking about doing it overseas as well. So that's something you should check out. Um, and we had our chaplain get into the conversation and we talked about, you know, one guy brought up how he's super conservative, but Pope Francis doesn't lean that way. And of course, he comes from Argentina, a poorer area, and you know, a poorer country in general. So he views the world differently. And then, of course, we got into this discussion about you know the last couple popes, John Paul II, and that real conservative view. Or with Vatican II, it was more of like this is what we should believe. This is how we should act. You know, like all these rules and regulations that people don't like. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes we need that outline of what it means to be a good Catholic, a good human being, right? A good man, a good woman, a good father, a good mother. There are certain steps that show you what it is or how you should act. And so that was the great thing he said that came out of Vatican II and, and Benedict the Sixteenth, I think it was. You know, it was kind of that, this is how it goes. Boom, 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 boom. We laid it out. And then now with Pope Francis... He brought it up of maybe it was the Holy Spirit guiding us back to more of like an apostle's time, right? How the apostles would act, and it's more of giving of your own, loving everybody, and getting back to more what you see in the Bible, what Jesus actually is talking about and preaching, and, you know, the early church fathers. But unfortunately, we had to go to that time to where Catholics didn't know what to believe. We didn't know much about our faith. We didn't know how to truly act and truly be Catholic and what we should understand the church is trying to teach. But now, after the last 30, 40 years, now we have that serious breakdown. Now it's time to go out and live the gospel and live the way that Jesus and his apostles lived. And that's what Pope Francis is here for, for, uh, for the church. And to be that example for us to now truly live it. Now, it's not to say that, you know, JP2 and them weren't really giving and loving. They were. Uh, but unfortunately, maybe we as Catholics during that time frame were lost and not truly understanding the faith and what it means to truly be Catholic. So now we had to get it intellectually, right? We had to be intellectually, if you want to say programmed, it's a bad word, but we had to intellectually understand the faith and now we've got to go out and live it. And if we follow our spiritual father, the Holy Father, we will be able to change the world in a great way. So I'm going to leave it right there. Food for thought, something to think about. You know, how great Pope Francis is for the church, even though sometimes we struggle to see it. 
So once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All those links are down below. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.